So this episode is airing on the 29th, but we actually filmed it a couple of weeks ago, the first day of the British Open. So uh, another thing that's exciting when you guys view this, I'm getting married the next day, which is the 30th, and I'll be up in the Northwest, hopefully where it's sunny and cool. But also what we all love talking about is the best, right? Tiger Woods, okay? And hey, he's 46 years old. I think a lot of people forget that he's 46 years old. He's four years away from 50, and he is chasing a couple things. And I really think that's why Tiger is still making it a go. He's tied with Sam Snead for the most wins ever, and that's at 82. We all know that he's at 15 majors, just three shy of Jack Nicholas. Boy, I'll tell you what, Tiger's had a lot of comebacks over the years and we love watching the dark horse coming back. It's gonna be very difficult for Tiger, especially watching him walk around the golf course, like I said, getting older, but that leg just doesn't look that healthy. I want you to stop and think about if you were Tiger Woods and you were in that situation, I would sit down with my agent and I would go through the entire schedule and I would be very, very careful on what events I choose. I'd probably choose events that the climate is much warmer. I'd also choose events, maybe the golf course isn't as long. Probably the train's much flatter. I think if he's careful and he saves his energy and focuses on certain events, I think he'll definitely beat Sam's record. I think the majors is where it's gonna be very difficult. In the British Open, there's been some winners over the years. That one at almost 60 years old, Tom Watson, looked like he was gonna win coming down the stretch and Stuart Sink got him in a playoff, four hole playoff that they play in the British Open. So I think the British Open is one of those that Tiger still has his eye on. And of course, Augusta National. That's gonna to be tough. The terrain is difficult there. They're extending the golf course, seems like every time we go back to uh, that time of year in April, they're always talking about lengthening the golf course. And if it's wet there, which, which it very well can be, that's gonna be a tall order. So I think he will surpass Sam Snead and let's hope he gets close to Jack's record. So when talking about records, of course, Tiger Woods is the talk of the town. I'd really like to know your comments. So why don't you put your comments uh, below and I'd like to see your feedback and what you think about Tiger Woods and when do you think Tiger will hang it up? Will Tiger Woods play the senior tour? What's the future for Tiger Woods? I'd like to see that. And speaking of records, Lux Electric Car has hit some really good numbers in the last couple of years and we want to thank you, the viewers, for uh, participating in those records. Um, we've hired a lot more employees here at Lux. We've really doubled our numbers uh, from previous years. So great success coming from the Lux product. It's taken a lot of hard work. We're going into our 13th season. Hard to believe, it sure does go fast, especially when we're busy, okay? And our summers, usually we're a little bit of a slow time and we're not seeing that as much. We're actually building over 100 cars as we speak to fill uh, our stock for fall. And also we have a lot of customers that are coming back in the season and we'll get their new Lux cart. Uh, as we go into the season here in the Coachella Valley. So a big thank you to everybody out there. I'm Jason Weir. Thank you.